Hi, this is Barbara Ellistad with Mesquite Citizen Journal, and we are honored today to, to uh, be visiting with Congressman Stephen Horsford, who's back in town, um, taking a break from the big city, <laughs> and he is in Mesquite. And I understand you've had quite a few meetings today with various officials and um, the mayor. I saw one of the councilmen coming out of the building um, and the Chamber of Commerce. So um, we appreciate you coming up and visiting with us um, and spending some time here discussing issues with us. And we're just going to start right out of the shoot with uh, Gold Butte. <laughs> there was a uh, article in one of the other media um, last week that apparently there's some um, movement or action to do some kind of land bill in this con congressional session about Gold Butte. Is that true or am I off base? There are a number of uh, public lands bills that would help benefit a number of projects throughout the state of Nevada, uh, several of which are in Congressional District 4. Uh, the first uh, bill that I actually introduced was uh, HR 696 for uh, the Lyon County land exchange. Uh, yes, and I, I was going to talk about that uh, Earrington land bill, as they call it. But go ahead and talk. Let's talk about that now. And well, it's it's one of I believe six public land bills that we have that affect the 4th Congressional District, mm -hmm. the Lyon County uh, Land Exchange Bill would allow the city of Yearington uh, to uh, buy at fair market value about 10,000 acres for commercial development as part of uh, some economic development opportunities, including a copper mine in Lyon County. Mm -hmm. uh, it would create uh, about two to 3,000 direct and indirect jobs for that community. Um, Who desperately needs it. It's a county with one of the highest unemployment rates in, in the state. Uh -huh. um, and it would also have about 48,000 acres of uh, wilderness designation uh, for the Wuvalka uh, wilderness area. Mm -hmm. So we had our first hearing. It was a great hearing. This bill has been introduced by the entire you know Nevada delegation I'm the lead sponsor in the house uh -huh. and um, you know we're off to a great great start uh, yesterday I was in Ely um, meeting with leaders there on some of their economic development needs and then in Lincoln County talking about a, a land bill that they ha uh, have as well that I will be working with Senator Heller on uh -huh. uh, and then today uh, meeting with some of the local leaders here in Mesquite to just talk about where we are on Gold Butte and discuss with them uh, some of the process that I would like to see going going forward. Well, what is some of that process then? Well, look, I I'm new to this. Uh, you know, I'm uh -huh. I'm the new member. I've been in Congress now 100 days, and you know, I I have met with. Uh, Congressman Heck, who represented a portion of uh, Mesquite uh, before, uh -huh. who worked with some of the stakeholders. I, of course, met with Senator Reed and, and his staff. Um, and so what I would like to propose and that I'm, you know, getting feedback on is what the process should be going forward. I, I know what has happened in the past. I wasn't involved, but I would like to see a process that is transparent uh, that allows uh, you know everyone to have input, um, and that allows us to work from what the legislation would actually propose, so that there's a framework for people to react to, rather than just concepts, uh, which is you know where I think unfortunately we we've, we've been in the past. So that's part of what why I came out here today uh, okay. is to talk Good. about that and to talk about. Uh, what I'd like to see going forward. And so now with this input, you know, I, I'm back in Washington on Monday and we'll meet with my staff there and confer with Senator Reed and the other members in the delegation and, you know, talk about how we can proceed uh, on legislation affecting Gold Butte and, you know, the other lands bills that I've had the opportunity to, to meet with some of our local leaders on throughout the, the district. Okay. Um one of the sh stakeholders groups that seems to have been left out of a lot of the uh, past discussions about Gold Butte, um, planning sessions, input, 
is the Partners in Conservation group. Um, it's a little bit more on the conservative side. Um, they uh, don't particularly want to have an NCA designation, at least for the entire area and those kinds of things. Um, so are they going to be brought into this process now in the future? It's my intent that anyone and everyone who wants to have input will have an opportunity to do so. I believe that we have to be inclusive, mm -hmm. uh, that every stakeholder uh, should have input um, so that we can try to you know, work together and reach consensus. Now, I recognize that we may not be able to all agree on every aspect or every provision. Uh, you know, if everyone <laughs> agrees, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> You know, right. that old but, adage. But I do, <laughs> I believe in an open and transparent and inclusive process, and I will do everything I can to make sure as we move forward uh, that that's what we will have. Okay. One of the other um, issues uh, with the Gold Butte area that our Mesquite Mayor, Mark Weir, has discussed in the past is actually um, using... Lake Mead area for a boat ramp, which he believes would be an economic development issue for Mesquite, would be an economic driver. Um, can you shed any light on it, on that issue from your standpoint? Well, and, and the mayor and I talked about that today, and, and I've he's mentioned that to me in prior meetings that I've had, and I did a flyover of this area mm -hmm. uh, about a month ago, I guess, and so now having seen it from that vantage point, you know, I understand that, you know, it's a vast area. But what I think we need to do a better job of going forward is explaining what parts of the area fall under what uh, agency's purview. For example, the, the boat dock would actually be under Parks and Rec with Lake Mead's, you know, uh, purview. Right. That is very different from wilderness um, or even conservation. And so we need to separate that and talk about them uh, as individual components that may ultimately get rolled up into you know, one, mm -hmm. one bill. But, but uh, the, the dock, and this is something that the business community said as well from the chamber, we need to understand how many jobs that would create, right? And what the economic benefit would be, not only to the Lake Mead part, but also to the conservation areas, which would include hiking, which would include the ATV trails, which would include uh, camping, because that's what conservation is about. You know, right. The president and, and other stakeholders have talked about, let's use our public lands as a tourist attraction. Um, and we want to make sure that we position any project that we would do for Gold Butte to the benefit of this local community from a tourist aspect, since that's such a big part of uh, this uh, community's uh, economy. Because certainly, um, you know, the, the Eureka's uh, first, hopefully, annual um, off-road weekend in February brought in over 5,000 people for that, and it was all focused on ATVs and the using the Gold Butte area in in for those kinds of recreational purposes and you know to to have too many restrictions I understand you know having some but mm -hmm. having too many restrictions is going to jeopardize that and that was certainly a, a huge economic driver for a week in Mesquite and that's why I think it's important for us to have this open process where we can air out those types of uh, opportunities because absolutely we want to do things that help promote first and foremost in my viewpoint economic growth job creation right. and you know uh, a vital economy for mesquite and, and the surrounding area and we want to do that in a way that balances right the conservation interest in gold butte and i think i believe that there's a way to do both Okay. Um, and I want the process to be open and transparent so that we can hear from everybody but ultimately get to the place where everyone sees the value of this project together. Okay.